got elk. This is where we were planning on camping. Basically right now, I'm unlicensed. And we're gonna go see what our hunting future holds in Idaho. I love coming to places like this. We didn't hike 50 yards until we heard our first thunderclap. Cool. Uh, there's a rig about to pass us. All right, we're at our next spot. Wild card. Never been here before, like many of the other places we go. But uh, howdy, pard. Have a good one. It's a long ways back in there on a rough road. So we're taking the Razor. We've got everything we need to either camp from the Razor or backpack. And we'll make that decision once we find a spot we want to hunt. It's good looking country. And by God, there's got to be elk in it. We're going to Idaho, folks. We've got three days this week to make it happen. Can you say that again, please? I think basically right now I'm unlicensed. I've been thinking for the last five hours, I need to just pull over, make sure I have my tag. Well, I got one tag initially, which I have. I returned that and bought a different tag. That never got mailed to me. I mean, you've got to return the tag, which makes sense. Probably read that somewhere, but I don't recall seeing any information when I got the new tag. So now it's, just after five o'clock. We're in Idaho and I need to find a fish and game office. I guarantee they just closed. There's always gotta be some fucking thing. I'm gonna go into a licensed vendor. I have, I have my tag on my profile on my phone and I'm gonna see if they'll print it out for me. We're effectively screwed for tonight, for tomorrow morning. We have to go to a regional office to exchange tags. Thankfully, I have my original tag. I don't see why there would be any issue other than terribly bad luck. We're gonna save some maps offline on Onyx so we can find a place to camp for the night. Uh, another lesson learned the hard way. Time to tuck in. Weird day, goes along with the weird season. <laughs> But tonight, for what it is, it's going to be real nice. Ready? Let's do it. Interesting country. <laughs> <laughs> Puberty's a bitch. Interesting country, but nothing obvious, which is all we're looking for. We're out of here. I was just part of our No Elk Left Behind initiative. Again, we can't hunt them because we don't have a tag, but if they were hanging out here wanting to be killed, we might stop for an hour on the way back to where we want to be. Well, I gotta say, I'm a little nervous. So we're here at the Regional Fish and Game Office and we're gonna go see what our hunting future holds in Idaho. I my tag online last month and I need to swap it out, please. Alrighty. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Mm, got the tag. It should have happened. It did happen. But I was nervous it wasn't gonna happen. But we got it. We're on our way to our unit, our zone and share with a bunch of other hunters. <laughs> we drank a couple pots of coffee <laughs> and ate some really good food. We'll be into, you know, the area where we expect to see elk by midday. All right, razor's loaded and we're buttoned up. We're gonna get out of here. It's been too long. Yeah, let's, let's do go. it. Okay, got phone, keys in there. They're in my pack, same spot in got the pouch. Batteries, memory cards, charger bags. Yep. Cameras. We got bow, release, death arrows. We got water, we got food. We got our tent, two tents, tarp. Sleeping pads and stuff. Yep. Cool, let's roll. There's oak tracks here. They could be pretty old, but they've been in here. And there wasn't any water coming up here, which I thought there would be. I think we'll get set up real quick, and then I think our play right now is just follow the creek up a little bit and see if we can find some elk. Oh, this should be wet. You can 
tell it has been, but it's dried up. There's one more tiny little spot up there. I've been hearing a lot about the drought, but haven't really been impacted by it until elk season. This changes a lot, completely changes our game plan. So we're gonna go check this other little spot up here if there's no water. There's no way we can stay here. There's no, no reason. It would be foolish. I don't think that's enough to keep elk in here. There's no fresh sign. Looks like they've been through here for sure, but a long time ago. I'm just gonna try and make sure. That's it. We left the top, which is a long way. A little after seven, got here, 7.35, it's 7.59, that was fast. spot and we just woke up had breakfast coffee we're gonna hop in the razor go up the road I did a quick scan just to see if there was any anything obvious any big herds it's the only one so far but I want to see if it's a bull or a cow if it's a bull we'll think about going up there we'd like to we'd like to find a spot where there's more than one elk <laughs> If it's a cow, I'm not even gonna worry about it. So we'll figure that out here. And I lost it so far. Probably just dipped behind one of those trees. Two lone elk a mile away from each other over here, both seemingly cows. Not good. All right, we're at our next spot. It's good looking country and by God, there's got to be elk in it. So, uh, let's hit it. All right, we just did a bunch of stuff we didn't film, but now we're ready to go. So, let's go. There it is, right on cue. Right on time. We didn't hike 50 yards until we heard our first thunder clap. It's just squeaking a bit. Okay. Right no squeaky lids. Well, I don't know, we're half mile in maybe. <laughs> if we're lucky. If we're lucky. And uh, it started raining. Don't really feel like putting on all of our rain gear if it's just gonna stop in a few minutes. So we peeled off the trail into the trees. And we're gonna wait it out a little bit, see what it does. It didn't let up, it's still raining. It's been raining for 30 minutes plus, and we're not gonna sit around. We wanna get up and hunt. So we got a rain gear on. I love coming to places like this. It's so cool, it's beautiful. Okay. Just 
this away so I can bugle and do whatever. We've got elk. This is where we were planning on camping, where we really thought they would be. We haven't even stopped hiking yet. Just saw a color up there. Put my binos up and it's uh, at least a cow and a couple cows and a calf.
is shooting my left. I don't think we can safely get across this creek, so I'm gonna try and call into this opening. Mark. Wow. This guy, he shut up or we just couldn't hear him because we were next to the river. But he won't stop now. It's too dark. It's after shooting light. And we're gonna go find camp. So we're gonna head up away from him a little bit. Back the way we were. And uh, hopefully we'll get to hear him during the night. But he's all fired up, he's beautiful at least three times just since we started loading our packs up. Mm-hmm. 